Welcome everyone to The New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Rebecca Red. This week, I'm a guest of Igloo Lake Lodge in Labrador, and I will be fishing for giant Eastern Brook trout and acrobatic Atlantic salmon. We'll talk about technique, equipment, flies, and the importance of being versatile to be successful. It's going to be an awesome show. Stay with us. Let them go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Scientific Anglers. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. Whenever you travel anywhere, you are at the mercy of Mother Nature. Unfortunately, as soon as we arrived, the weather had turned for the worse. We had high and dangerous winds over the lake and storms moving throughout the area. This made the lake muddy and virtually unfishable for the next day or two. Fortunately for us, the weather that is bad for brook trout is ideal weather for Atlantic salmon fishing. Listen as Jim Burton, owner of Igloo Lake Lodge, tells us of an option he offers to fish for these leapers. So you know, like in any business, it's important, we feel, to diversify and offer uh, different products. So being a trout outfitter here at Igloo Lake Lodge for large trophy brook trout, we thought we'd add uh, by diversifying and getting into the Atlantic salmon fishing by using our beautiful 1951 De Havilland Beaver full plane for flyouts. And it's a short 15 minute flight to go down and experience some of the best Atlantic salmon fishing that you have in Labrador, right on the Eagle River. Of course, the Eagle River is a very prominent and uh, successful, has a long history of great Atlantic salmon fishing. Uh, it's a $500 add-on that we do right here at the lodge. And it, you get the experience for a full day fly fishing for Atlantic salmon. Good job, Rebecca. Unreal. And that's what the bubble will be. Look, and there's another one wanting to come in. There you go. Way to go. Oh my gosh, I'm into my backing before I know it. Okay. Let them go. Okay, let them this... go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. This is good. This is really good. Are Rebecca. you kidding me? This is like that's like a 20-pound fish. He's coming right at me. Okay. Hang on. I think I think he's off. Is he off? Yeah. Because when we started boating towards yeah, him. Yeah, we had to because he was going, he was just taking off, right? Whew. Is that something? This one. Oh. There's more. Okay, now we know where they're two. That's a rehearsal. Jim had to return on business for the day and would come and pick us up later. He left me with the most experienced guide, Wayne Moores. Wayne felt confident we would have a very productive day. On. Out of the blue. Oh. <laughs> Go. Okay, get that in, get that in. Keep that line. Number one, keep that line tight. Don't you go off. All right. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. That was just out of the blue. It just happened just when we were just relaxing and casting. But that goes to show you. Wow. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 
He's swimming right at me. Oh gosh. We just the, picked up the anchor. We're gonna go after this fish and it's coming back at me right now. See, I can feel that just slight slack in the line. So I've got to keep that line as tight. Bring it back into my fly line right about, oh, that, she stopped. She's gonna turn. Now she's going again. <laughs> Do you, is the anchor pulled up? Oh, yeah. yeah, so the anchor's pulled up and we're just nicely floating here. And the idea is to try and get her into calmer waters. And that gives us a greater chance to and be able to land on, this you fish. You can get ashore on the rocks then. Come on, girl, you can tire her out anytime now, as I'm getting tired. <laughs> I might have time to have lunch. Just hold up to the rod. Look at that. Do you think I'm excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little excited. My arm's a little fatigued too. Come on, girl, you don't have to go again. <laughs> you gotta have some energy for this. Get ready. You did it. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Okay, and... Fish. Holy cow. Wow. What an amazing fish. There we go. We're getting ready. He's going to kick me off soon. I just want to make sure. There we go. Perfect. Igloo Lake Labrador is located 72 miles east of Goose Bay near the 53rd parallel. The area has become world famous for its abundance of large brook trout. Igloo Lake is interconnected to literally hundreds of square miles of unrivaled trout waters. The serenity and tranquility of this unspoiled paradise is beyond description. You know, at Igloo Lake Lodge, Rebecca, we hold uh, a maximum of 14 guests. We normally take 10 rods at the lodge. We have had uh, some recent renovations at the lodge, quite extensive actually. We did a, a brand new foundation in our main lodge. We added on a big section for a pantry and a cook. And we built the new Labrador room. Uh, it's a short season here. We, we, we're open for 12 weeks of the year. Uh, when you have to bring in new boats, fiberglass boats, new septic, uh, and then of course you have to appreciate that everything here has to be flown in. We don't have a road as such, our road is an airway, and we use it with our, our, our beautiful de Havilland Beaver to fly in our supplies. But we've got some very good accommodations, as, as you have seen, and of course our staff uh, have been with us for many, many years. Of course, Wayne's been with our family for over 25 years, and uh, our cooks have been with us now or different seasons, and, uh, and so are most of our guides. So we like to offer a quality service and of course our quality product, and that comes in play with our catch and release policy that we've been doing now for some 10 years. We've had a great, great week here. Lots of big trout, I mean big trout, and just had a lot of fun time. Great time, what do you think, Chloe? Yeah. Great time. <laughs> My fish were bigger, but she had more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend it just for the fun of it. Uh, it's not all about the fishing, it's about the friendship, and the fishing is just a bonus. Uh, we came here, not ex didn't know really what to expect, but it's been, been super, don't you think? It's, oh, yes. It's been, we've had a lot of laughs, yeah. a lot of fish, and it's, it's great, a good experience. And the food's great. <laughs> Atlantic salmon return to their native waters to spawn starting in June and continue to October. Unlike their Pacific cousins, Atlantic salmon can spawn more than once. After three years in the river system, the young smolt will travel out to the sea to feed. Salmon may spend one or more years at sea, and during this time they grow rapidly. 
Salmon which have only spent one winter at sea before returning to spawn are called grills and weigh up to 2.5 kilograms when they enter the river. Salmon which spend two or more winters at sea and fish that have spawned previously are collectively referred to as large salmon. Generally less than 10 out of every 100 spawners return to spawn again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Your high Woo! jump, high jump. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, oh. that is incredible. Oh my gosh. Go again. <laughs> I will never get tired of that. So we got teamwork going on here. My guide, Wayne, he's, he's moving the boat to shore. So if successful at playing this fish out properly, ideally we'll land the fish to um, the shoreline behind us for a nice quick release. These fish, oh wow, just incredible. He's shaking his head. We're getting a little shallow water here, so I'm pretty sure this fish isn't appreciating coming into closer to shore. Great job, Rebecca. Great Thank job. You, Jim. Oh my goodness. I counted like seven or eight big leaps. I know. It's, it's a hard fighting fish. It is. And it's a smart thing you got done. You got it brought into the calmer water. There's less oxygen. And what a great place for beaching. Yeah, this is ideal. Ideal. I think we almost got her now. Ah, oh, we got Good her. job, Jim. Beautiful. Good job. Fish. Rebecca. Oh, it's a salmon, yeah. This beautiful. This beautiful fish. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna we measure it. Yeah, what have we got? So from the tail, we have 29 and a half. You just, yep. Yeah. It's okay. Like the bullet. <laughs> what a you. job, what a job. Thank you, Wayne. Oh, that was a, <laughs> what a, what a feeling, eh? How's your arm, is it tired? Yes, my arm is very tired. That's all. I, Dream come true to come here in these perfect pristine waters. These fish are so hard fighting. They are. They are. I don't Strong think that. Fish. I don't think it gets any better than this. It's like second to none, Jim. Well, you know what? They say Atlantic salmon, pound for pound, strongest fish in the water. Yeah. It is. It's a very strong fish. Yeah, I felt that today. Yeah. Well, great work. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Let's try again. Sounds good. The setup we are using is dictated by strict regulations to be a floating line only. Regulations state that no weight shall be used in or on the line, leader, or fly. To the floating line and nine foot tapered leader to a zero X tippet, and then the fly. What do you say we take our beaver and go over to another remote area and try some outstanding big brook trout fishing? Yes. Where yes. we're gonna probably not, they're probably not gonna be 30 inches, but hey, they're gonna be 20 inches, and that's big for brookies. That's a giant brook trout. I'm All not right. used to seeing them that big, so you may uh, have to show gonna, them to me. We're gonna have some fun. So we'll get everything aboard the airplane. We'll take off. It's about 20 minutes from here. Okay. And it's a short hop from Igloo Lake. But it's great to have the airplane to be able to diversify and do some flyouts. We did some salmon fishing, now we're gonna go to another area. I'm, a, I'm spoiled. Officially uh, spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have some fun. Let's go I do love it. it. Okay, thanks. Perfect. The weather had calmed down to a point, but the wind was still an issue. Wayne suggested we move often and try and find some active fish. We finally found some protected waters between two land points, and Wayne thought it would be productive. I was using a streamer and adding an erratic strip retrieve to try and mimic a crippled bait fish. If a brook trout believes the bait is injured, it'll generally provoke a strike. 
is a hook up with another beautiful brookie. And the weather's been pretty rough. And so the, it's creating the water to be a little hard to, uh, to locate fish in for risers. So working between two shorelines, point A and point B, uh, just trying to locate where the brook trout are and successfully have done so. I'm just walking with them. I'm not putting too much pressure on this fish. Uh, I'm gonna try and bring it over to Wayne now. Beautiful, healthy looking brook trout. If you get her nose up, keep it up. Okay. We got it. <clears throat> Good net, man. Good net, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this fish. Here we go. And a release. And that is the pleasure of fishing for these beautiful big brook trout. You get to bring them in, you get to see them, very quick, release. You don't wanna to cause too much stress for them. That was just perfect. And that was fun. So for the size of rod that I use for my Atlantic salmon, it's an eight weight. Floating line only, large arbor, nine foot leader, connected to my fly. Now for brook trout, six, seven, or eight weight are perfect. Floating line, large arbor, nine foot leader, connected to 3X tippet. You also can use a sinking line. That is okay for the brook trout, just not for the salmon. Wayne noticed the wind had shifted and the lake had become calm. He told me to get ready and good things are about to happen. He explained when the wind stops, the lake calms and the mayflies generally start to hatch. He was right. I immediately switched to a dry fly. So if you can see at home, it's beautiful, flat, calm waters. And so we're fishing with dry flies now. The fish are sipping a mayfly hatch. It's unbelievable, ideal fly fishing weather right now, casting dry flies. You can't get any better than this. Big brook trout. Nice, nice, okay. Set. Yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. Fantastic! <laughs> Woo! Good. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> that was fantastic. Wow, there you go. Timing. You see a fish porpoising like we did, rising, sipping. I cast right about 10 feet in front of them. Bam! Okay. Just like that. There was two fish porpoising. This was the lead fish. Perfect. I, Whoa, oh, I'm a happy girl. That's amazing. Oh, this one is very colorful. Very colorful. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Look at this. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. Really? It's that fun. It, it's, it's like dry fly fishing for brook trout at its best. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a beast. That is a big fish, Wayne. Okay. okay. I want to show you folks at home the proper technique to photograph a fish. So that's what I'm going to show you next. So one of the most important things to do when you are photographing fish is you have to make it fast. You don't want to stress the fish by keeping it out of the water too long, taking photos. So number one, make sure your camera's ready. It's on, your focus is ready, and it's on a mode that you figure is best for taking photographs of fish. So Wayne, fish is in the water, tailing glove, and I'm ready. And look at me, and that's good, back in the water. That's all you need to do. Help, fish is breathing, it's in the water, and there it goes. Beautiful. Simple as that. Healthy fish, pictures to last a lifetime without sacrificing a fish's health. Set. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Oh, that was unreal. So we've got, it's giving me the he, giving it me its head, so I'm gonna. It's a bit fresh yet. It is, yeah. yes, yes, you're right. <laughs> Listen to your guide. You still got a lot of energy, so just keep that line tense. It's coming this way. All right, here we go. That's a lot. Fish in the net. Another beauty. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I'm ready. See, look at this. Five pounds wow. again. Oh. Look at that. What an incredible fish. Beautiful. The color, again, starting to color up for fall. Beautiful male brook trout sipping on the dry on the dry fly, eating the mayflies. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you, Wayne. You're welcome. Again. I'm just waiting for him to kick off. <laughs> just like that. <sighs> wow. That's what you come here for. Incredible fishing on the dry fly. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website, www.thenewflyfisher.com. And a special thank you to Igloo Lake Lodge for hosting us. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, tight lines, big fish. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Islander Precision Reels, Scientific Anglers, Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the new fly fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.